Things to tell you. Later. Things that... Later. Marvellous. This is marvellous, Will. Julius will be... This is just what we need. You have done a brilliant job. Thanks, mostly. Feeling stronger now. I can't believe it. I, I just can't believe it. I, I'm actually out. You know, when I saved you from the river, there were two others. They didn't have helmets. I couldn't see their faces. Neither of them is Fritz, just guards. He got himself into such a good position. Sort of an assistant to a power station superintendent. But he decided to stay. So he still I used to think Fritz was such a pain. But he's been quite fantastic. Now, he certainly made a most useful assessment of the mechanics of the city. Are you sure he'll escape suspicion? We were careful to lay a false trail for me. How are you feeling? Better. It's the fresh air. It comes as quite a shock to you after the poisonous atmosphere of the city. Well. We must leave here as soon as you're able. Will! Shh, shh. Wait! Let me go! If you're not cut, they can't find you. The search the first! They killed you already! Hidden! You don't understand! Even the tripods can't see everywhere! No, everything! Only if you run will they find you! Listen to me. Then will they find you on the camp?
instinct is to run, but that's just what the tripods want. Will, I know I'm right. You're safest here, where they least expect to find you. You see? cap. When it was first put in, I never thought I'd ever forget it was there. It'll be good to get rid of them when we get back. Mm. I suppose that is why the tripods can't find me. Mm. Clearly, a real cap gives off some sort of a signal, which yards do not. In the city, my master was suspicious that I might not be capped. Or at least I might not have been capped properly. He liked me because of that. But he couldn't really tell. Only in the capping hall would he have been able to discover the truth. And we only just managed to avoid that. A few of the masters, the more intelligent ones, actually believed capping made us dull and unimaginative. But the rest don't care about that, of course. All they want is to make use of our labor until they're ready to poison us all. And that is what we must prevent. Well, with all this amazing information you've discovered, It'll help us to do it. If we can get it back to the free men in time. We must. Are you strong enough, then, for another journey? If it is safe. Monsieur, returning from the games. Oh, you taking your time, haven't you? I've <laughs> been to many places on the way, but uh, now we've run out of money. Ah. Mm. But we do have something here. Perhaps we could exchange for the two loaves. Where did you get this? We camped in the ruins of this big old house. There was a hidden cupboard in the wall. I've enjoyed playing with these. But now, food is more important than play. A whole set? In exchange for two loaves of bread? Please, monsieur. But this is solid gold and silver. No, I cannot do this. They're worth more than 50,000. 50,000? Where did they go? Who? Right, two each way. Cover the exit. Tap the double. Hear you. 
Two fugitives. Did you see them? They ran into the tent. We haven't seen anything. Captain, just you wait till you get capped. Then you'll have a greater respect for the truth. and welcomes, but to what do we owe the honor of this visit? Two fugitives. One tall, long, dark hair, glasses, the other medium height, good-looking, with a fresh complexion. They entered my tent. I saw them just a moment ago. Is this true? I swear by the tripods, Captain, I saw nothing. Perhaps they went out the way they came. I have guards surrounding the tent. Oh, if they have the trick of disappearance, perhaps I should offer them employment. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, Pasha. Uh, you are welcome, of course, to search the rest of my circus. Excuse me, madam. Some fugitives have taken refuge in the circus. I am well able to take care of intruders. His pardon, but the captain's orders were to check. trying to sneak into the town. But they'd be back by now. This is little Siggy carrying benches. Oh. Maybe some of their own precious children have run away to join us. But five guards and the captain himself. They'd not take so much trouble unless he was the son of a man. Come on, then. Where have you hidden them? Under the bed. <laughs> Anyone else in here? Just us. Who are you looking for? Fugitives. Two. We'd have um, noticed if anyone came in. Wrought havoc in the town, those two. So there will be a price on their heads. Four or five hundred marks each, I should think. Nothing, Captain. Just a couple of clowns making up. They must have gone straight through the tent and out the other side. Take my men. See if you can pick up their trail. I'll return with horses. Come on! Come on! Hey, they're leaving. Oh, thanks to that boy who kept his mouth shut. They are all uncapped, except that old Turk with the whip. I wonder if we could persuade them to let us hide for a bit. They're obviously about to move out. I'm still starving. Well, that shouldn't be so much of a problem now fortune in your pocket. The problem is converting them into usable cash. So, I have two new clowns. Um, we apologize for No, it is both my pleasure and my profit, for I hear there is a very high price on your heads. Oh. The next will be in your back. Add at least a thousand to the takings, Fatima. The runaways! And when I've discovered why they are such wanted criminals, I shall certainly double the price. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Will. If this man is only interested in money, we may be able to offer a higher price than the guards. I have bread and water. Merci. Oh, Fred. We're never 
Where did you last eat? I'm oh, sorry to appear so greedy, but this is the best meal I've ever had. Mm. Thank you. And for trying to help. We're not so fond of the guards either. We're tolerated only because the circus is so popular. Were you trying to steal in the town? No. No, we wanted to exchange goods for food, but they assumed we had stolen the goods. And you had not? No. Just some things we found in a ruined house. And where are you from? Our homes are in the mountains in the south. What about you? Different places. We're all orphans. Most of us are the children of vagrants. What? Abandoned. Others have run away from home to escape the capping. He trains us and we perform for him. Sounds fun. But he exploits us. Ali has contacts in every town with the blackguards. They find him useful, keeping us out of trouble. But he's a tyrant. He's certainly fond of his whip. Mm. From outside, many children think it looks a wonderful life. Some even run away from good homes to join the circus. If they show a talent he can use, he'll allow them to stay. Otherwise, they'll just hand them back to the guards for money. Like us when we finished the season in Geneva. That's what he plans to do with us. Unless we have talents he can use. Well? They look older than us. A year. <clears throat> Maybe even two. So they must be capped. Unless that's why the black guards are after them. Well, they say they've been to the games. But they'd have to be capped for that too. Yet yeah, the cat would never run away from the guards as they have done. Nor spend weeks just wandering around like vagrants. Maybe that's what they are. Yeah, Here's Geneva. It's perfect. Straight up the valley to the White Mountain. You mean... Yes, if we can persuade him to let us join the circus. Ah, but we're supposed to be capped already. Well, who knows that? I like the tall one, the glasses. Me too. He looks very studious. <laughs> <laughs> but they're both real adventurers. I like anyone who stand up to the black guard. Mm. Hey, they want to join the circus. Oh, great. Well, let's hope they can. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> False, but it's good to be free of it. False cap, false sense of freedom. Come on, before anyone comes. What's your name? Raquel. Mine's Will. This is Jean-Paul. Thanks for your help. I wish I could do more, but he'll be out of... There is a way you can. Do more. Solid gold. Sixteen pieces of gold. And sixteen of silver. But the rest of the set is still hidden. In a ruined house near Geneva. Oh. Could others find it? Well, I only found it by accident because the stone was loose. I think only I could find it again. Oh, very good. So when we set out on the road this afternoon, you will have become members of my circus troupe. Then after the final performance in Geneva, we shall go together to the ruined palace. But I must ask you to keep it a secret from the others. And I shall keep this as a guarantee of your good faith. Oh, please, take some snuff with me. To seal the deal. A most fortuitous meeting, and one I hope that will prove great profit to us all. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there will be time enough for you to master the art. <laughs> I'm glad we have been here. <laughs> Able to do business with you. And we have been delighted to have you here with us. Now, I must go and supervise my rabble and get the show on the road. I will send Casimir to the bus <laughs> caravan to sort out some accommodation for you. Yes, <laughs> uh, fresh air will help.
final episode of The City of Gold and Lead is next. If you want to know what happens next, then stay where you are. And what you do now before the show begins is very important to you and to 13. It's important to 13 because you, the viewer, are its largest single source of funding. It's important to you because 13 cannot give you the services and programs you enjoy without the investment from you. In the next few minutes, you can help 13 and enter our sweepstakes for Tripod's viewers. The winner will be announced Sunday, March 9th, following our Nature Series. One phone call from you and your pledge tells 13 it made the right decision to present the Tripods today. Please make it now.